The Gospel according to John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. To become the sons of God. Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, precious brothers and sisters. It's uh, October the 20th. 2017 gather around pull up a chair this morning as we begin our day together for this is the day that Yahweh has made and I shall rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it I've got my coffee in the cup that was a gift from my viewers and subscribers it's just beautiful it's got the homeless gentleman on the back and trumpet of God ministries outreach to the homeless on the front let me know what are you going to share with Pastor Dave in the comment section below. I've got uh, coffee with cream and no sugar. No sugar in my coffee. Let me know. How do you take your coffee? Let me know what are you going to share as we share this glorious day together. Let's go out and be fishers of men. Let's go out, cast out our nets, and reel them in. Give them to God, to Yahweh. He will clean them. Let me know what you're going to share in the comment section below. Let's begin with prayer before we go any further. Let's bow our heads and bow our hearts and go before the most high living God, Yahweh. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. And we all said, Amen. Jesus, I long to kneel, to fall at your feet, just to hold on to you, grab you by the ankles. Yeshua, Yeshua, I love you so much. I love you so much. And I'm homesick. I'm homesick. I really am waiting on that blessed hope. I wanna go home so badly. This world is so corrupt. This world is so wicked. What a wicked generation. This world is so evil. I'm going to go home. For this is not our home. We're here for just a short time. And what are we doing with our time while we are here? Before that trumpet sounds. Oh, when that trumpet sounds. There ain't no grave going to hold this body down. I pray to be caught up in the clouds to meet Yeshua in the air. So much evil in the world today. North Korea now threatening again the United States uh, because they are having their uh, war games uh, on the United States and South Korea. Kim Jong-un, are we on the brink of a nuclear war? Great, great tribulation is upon this world. It's upon us now. Christians today are hurting. They're suffering. We're searching for signs everywhere. We're following all of the rhetoric on the internet and on YouTube and YouTube channels that are just pumping and pumping and pumping and promoting fear while they're lining their pockets with filthy lucre at the expense of the Christian who 
who has a heart for Yeshua, but just love him as much as I do and want to go home. Please read your scriptures. Read the book of Matthew, Matthew 24. What Yeshua tells us to beware of in the last days. Heading out to uh, Flint, Michigan today with our ministry and outreach to the homeless. Please lift our ministry up in prayer. There are no, um, there are no uh, announcements this morning. No offerings have come in to support the homeless outreach uh, mission that God has called me to in the streets of Detroit and Flint and Pontiac, Michigan, Mount Morris, and all surrounding areas. I got some bad news last night and uh, pray for Pastor Dave. It's a, it's a struggle, it's a battle in these end days, as I know it is for those of you watching. There is just so much evil in the world that has just taken over the land. Evil, evil, what a wicked, evil place we live in. I'm waiting <laughs> and I wanna give you encouragement. I love you all and believe me, keep your head up. Don't let the snares of the devil, don't let them get hold of you and your life. Give your life now to Jesus Christ, to Yeshua HaMashiach. Surrender all, give your life to the one who paid it all. If you do not know Yeshua as your Lord and Savior, call upon him now. No man can save you, no minister, no evangelist, no pastor, no preacher. But call upon him now, send me personal message or in the comment section below just type I want to be saved and I'll give you scripture and we will all join together and we will all be one body with Yeshua Jesus as the head I will give you scripture and I will try to guide you as you experience a brand new life in Christ Link to support our ministry and outreach to the homeless will be below. Pastors that are out in the field face many trials and many personal hardships. Pray for your pastor today. Pray for this pastor today. God bless you. All the links to our ministry and outreach will be below. Shalom. Mm -hmm.